Pele, King of Soccer by Monica Brown, illustrated by Rudy Gutierrez, and read by Mr. Alicea. Watch as the famous number 10 flips the soccer ball up, down, and around with his magic feet. Pele runs across the field like a cheetah, dribbling like a dancer. Can Pele score three goals in one game, a hat trick? He traps the ball with his thighs and ankles, and before it even touches the ground, he shoots. Pele and his team have won again. The crowd chants, Pele, Pele, O oh Rey, Pele, the king. But Pele was not always so famous. Once he was a boy from the town of Tres Corazones in Brazil, the largest country in South America. Pelé's family was very poor, so he sometimes worked shining shoes and selling meat pies to help them. Every evening, no matter how tired they were, Pelé and his father Dondino would play soccer in the streets. Whoops! Sometimes Pelé accidentally broke a window or kicked the ball over a fence. When he was almost 10 years old, Pelé came home and found his father crying. Why are you sad, Papa? he asked. I am sad because Brazil has lost the World Cup. Everyone in Brazil is sad tonight. Don't worry, I will win a World Cup for you one day, Pelé promised. Pelé loved to play soccer with his friends. They didn't have enough money for a ball, so they used a grapefruit instead. If they couldn't find a grapefruit, they would stuff an old sock with newspapers. Pelé and his friends started their own soccer team. When the other teams saw that Pelé and his teammates couldn't afford shoes, they nicknamed them the Barefoot Team. But the Barefoot Team kept winning. One day, a famous Brazilian soccer player invited Pelé to try out for a professional team. At 15, Pelé became the youngest player on the Santos Soccer Club team. The coach thought that Pelé was too skinny and ordered him to eat and eat and eat. For the first time in his life, Pelé had all the food his stomach could hold. Finally, it was time for Pelé to play soccer in his first professional match. Pelé uses his famous bicycle kick to trick the other team. His knees bend and his legs whirl backward until his foot connects to the ball. When he was 17 years old, Pelé played in his first World Cup final for Brazil. On the day of the game, Pelé remembered his promise to his father. Pelé sees that his teammate Vava is open and kicks the ball to him in a perfect pass. Pelé's team won. The Brazilians were the world champions of soccer for the first time. Listening on the radio at home, Pelé's father cried, this time because he was so happy. With Pelé playing for the national team, Brazil won two more World Cups. Pelé traveled all over the world playing soccer, and wherever he went, people admired him. He met kings, queens, and presidents, spreading the love of soccer to children and adults everywhere. But there was one more thing that Pelé wanted to do. No soccer player had ever scored 1,000 goals. Pelé has scored 999. It was a rainy November day, and 80,000 fans had come to see Pelé play. Pelé dribbles toward the goal line, and his opponent trips him. Penalty kick. Pelé looks at the ball. He looks at the fans. He looks at the goalie. Can you guess what happened? Pele Ore kicks and scores his thousandth.